So today, a huge and legendary Apex Legends YouTuber, Machin, decided he was calling it quits. He's done making Apex content on YouTube, done making Apex content on Twitch, and he's done competing under his organization, Glitch Gaming. He's stepping to the side. He's going to focus more on himself, on his health, on his job that he already has because he was working full time with a job outside of content creation before this. And this should be a big deal and it should be a wake up call. I want to talk about this for two reasons. One, because he's my friend. I love him and I want to go support him in any way I can. He was an incredible content creator, a really, really nice guy, and he's going to be doing more stuff, which I'll talk about at the end of this video, just not Apex Legends related. And the second thing is this really does need to be a wake up call because this coupled with big organizations leaving Apex is a huge deal. And I'm going to explain it why to you right now. You can see it in the tweet here, Matchin decided to call it a day on this Monday morning. He said, what a journey, time for a new chapter in my life. I am retiring, streaming and playing Apex entirely. I'm beyond exhausted between both jobs and stepping down and moving forward into something new. I love Glitch, they're the best org out there. Full explanation below. And he links the YouTube video, which we'll talk about in a second. You see he's got this picture, calling it a day. Former Xbox console grinder, switched to mouse and keyboard over on PC and competed. A very, very popular YouTuber. As you can see, he has 86,000 subscribers. So this is not something small that he's walking away from. This is actually a big deal, which sheds more light on how crazy this is that Apex is losing some of its most devoted content creators. It is honestly pretty amazing. Hey guys, so um, basically, yeah, you read the uh, title right. There's no uh, easy way of doing this or saying this, but I am uh, officially retiring from playing Apex, from streaming uh, games, and uh, unfortunately competing as well. Uh, I have uh, I've reached my limit. This is uh, this is more of the unprofessional video. I'll make probably a more professional video ending it all, you know, or saying a goodbye video. But this is just me being straightforward with you guys. Um, just, you know, what's going on and uh, while I'm stepping down. I'll let you guys watch the whole video, but in a nutshell, he's talking about several things. One, the competitive aspect and how difficult it is with a full-time job. But second, he talks about how tired he is of Apex Legends, that he doesn't play this game to enjoy gaming anymore. It became a job, not just because of content creation, but just because of the enjoyment or lack thereof of playing Apex anymore. The rank system, he hasn't enjoyed it in several seasons. The pubs are so sweaty with SBMM. Now that he's switched to MNK, the experience he has with a bunch of aim assist going on in PC lobbies, especially when playing against console people is driving him nuts. It's honestly a big deal. And to see someone that's been in the scene for three years step away like this is really dramatic and I really wanted to talk about it. And that was not the only big news of the day or rather of the weekend as Zach Mazer and C9, stay naughty, Zach Mazer, those guys were dropped from C9 competitively as C9 is leaving Apex Legends. Another huge deal, this time an entire organization leaving the scene. And we'll talk about it here in this zip video where Zach Mazer explains exactly what happened in this about minute long clip. What happened on C9 was recently the economy crashed. The major sponsors of C9 got hit really hard and C9 had to make massive budget cuts and they don't have the resources to pay for an Apex team. At the moment, we'll talk about that in just a moment. Also did not like the way that EA was handling um, their relationships for esports. That is I the big deal. I was just talking to Naughty Offstream. Dude already has like seven offers. I am not lying. Dude. That's the big deal right Before there. The started, that dude, that dude, that dude's offers are almost at the double digits. That fast. We're we're attempting to part ways and find new teams as long as we're getting contracts out of it. If that makes sense. So yes, I do plan on joining another org. I don't know how long it'll take me. I'm just gonna put my head down and try my hardest. That's all I can do. I'll prove my worth sooner or later, bro. It's you so tough to everyone see. everyone else, it comes around. It takes a while, but it'll, it comes around, bro. Look at people like Guild. A new chapter in your book, man. If you, if you work hard enough to write that chapter the way you want it to be, it'll happen. I can't tell you how long the chapter will take. I don't know how long the chapter will be, but if you we'll work see if this enough, uh, it, music if his copyright work, strikes bro, me. <laughs> Look at people we'll like see. Guild, man, Nick Merckx, these people that just putting everything out there, trying their absolute it's true. hardest, doing the most to like prove themselves and get their skill to the top level and good things happen to them. Good things do happen, but unfortunately not with big orgs like C9, who is pulling out specifically because they're tired of the Apex scene and how EA handles their esports, which we have known is pretty poor. We've seen other organizations pull out. 
You guys might remember Liquid pulling out of Apex Legends several months ago. Of course, they're still competing. The roster is still competing under the name Team Liquid, but they are pulling out. They are tired of dealing with EA. A lot of this comes down with EA is not willing to make monetary decisions that would benefit some of these orgs, such as Team Skins. EA wants all the money, and these orgs are basically tired of it. They're pulling out, and it's leaving a lot of really, really talented FPS players like Nocturnal, like Zach Mazer, like Stay Naughty in the dust. And unfortunately, Good people are getting caught in the crossfire of what essentially boils down to EA and Respawn's lack of ability to fix their game to make it more enjoyable, fix it to make it more playable, and give more to the esports community so that people are willing to compete because this is a great spectator game. People love watching the competitive version of Apex Legends, but the way it's being handled by EA is forcing teams out. This tweet was from September 15th of this year, where Nocturnal said, with a heavy heart, as of today, we're allowed by Team Liquid to field offers for our roster. We're entertaining all offers, be it solo or as a whole. We have control over our pro league spot and we're hungrier than ever. Do not hesitate on this world-class roster. They show here a list of their achievements up to that point of the last few months. And honestly, it's incredible. Like second in an S tier event, 12th in an S tier event, third, second, third, and they've only improved since then. As you guys might know right now in the current pro league split, they are in second overall, an absolutely outstanding team. And even they were dropped by their team because organizations don't want to work with EA. I hope someone at Respawn or someone at EA sees this video because this is not a bash Respawn or EA type of video. We all want this game to be so incredible. And I know a lot of you guys too, but something's got to change because you are seeing some of the most committed organizations and most committed content creators leave the game and that's the first sign of when things start to go south for a game let's not kid ourselves this game has been out for three years and it, we know how long the lifespan of these games usually are. Some games like Fortnite have had to completely reinvent themselves to get people back, and Apex Legends, while probably not going to reinvent itself, something's gotta change. Let me know what you guys think. I think Apex is in a pretty scary spot right now, but I wanna know your thoughts in the comments. Other than that, I appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next video.